What's going on guys? Today I want to do a very quick tutorial on how to dynamic link lower thirds between Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. Now this is super easy. Basically, if you have a lower third or some sort of text-based animation in After Effects, we're going to allow you to bring that into Premiere and adjust your text in Premiere so you don't have to bounce back and forth between After Effects and you don't have to worry about exporting 10 lower thirds for a project. So I'm in my Adobe project, my After Effects project here. And let me just show you what my file structure looks like. I have the Premiere project, and then generally for my After Effects project, I will just throw a graphics on the back end so I know the difference between the two. So right here I have my lower third, and there's not really any animation on this one. However, if you had animation, this will work just as well. So I've got the name, and I've got the info for the lower third. And those are just layers here in my um, lower third comp. Now, what a lot of people would do is go file, export. They would export this lower third, change the name again, export another one, and so on and so forth. There's a much easier way. Once you've built this, in your After Effects project. You wanna to go to the final comp that holds everything for your lower third. You wanna right click, comp settings, go over to advanced, and you wanna check this box. So originally, by default, this will not be checked. You wanna put a check next to the template, unlocked text layers editable in Premiere Pro. Check that and hit okay. Then you'll wanna save your project, then you can pop into Premiere. And what you'll do in Premiere is I'll generally build a bin called Lower Thirds. And all you have to do at this point is take that graphics project, drag it into your Lower Thirds bin, and then it's going to show an import screen like usual. It's only going to show you the different comps that you've checked the template box next to. So here's our Lower Third final that we checked that box. So we're going to double click on that and it's gonna import our lower third. Now, this is all normal, this is, this is pretty standard. The magic will come in shortly. So before I do any of this, let's just say I want my first lower third to be Mike Johnson. Well, what I'll do is say Mike Johnson lower third, or whatever you wanna name it so you know that's who it is. All right, well, I could take this and I could drag it. Um, let me just drag only the video and I'll just drag it onto my timeline. We'll say that it's going right there. All right, well, let's say that I wanna make a new lower third and we wanna put it over here and I want it to be somebody else, not Mike Johnson. Well, your first thought might be to copy and paste this lower third and then change the name, which I'll show you in a moment. That is not what you wanna do because when you copy and paste and edit, it's gonna affect all of that file that you copied. So what you need to do is right click over here duplicate, this will make a second. Now you can change it to John uh, Jones, lower third, or whatever the second name is. Now when I click on John Jones, if I go up to effect controls, this is the magic of it, I have an editable screen. So I can change Mike Johnson to John Jones, and I did this effect with all caps, so I want to make all caps here. That's just how I designed the graphic. It'll look funny with lower thirds. And we want to change the info to uh, the artist involved, just something random, involved. All right, now when I pop back out, everything's changed, and I can drag this one right onto my timeline. So I've still got Mike Johnson, and I've got John Jones. And it's as easy as that, and I can duplicate this as many times as I want, and it's all based on that one comp here in After Effects. So guys, I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions and I can clarify it in a future video, but this is a great way to do lower thirds between After Effects and Adobe Premiere. You don't have to export a thing. The renders play out pretty smoothly and, uh, and it's a really nice technique to save quite a bit of time on these uh, pesky graphics and lower thirds. So let me know if you need any questions answered. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and we'll check back in the next one. Thanks guys.